Richard Bates from Bates Wolf Marine Sales. Uh, we've got places here in Chertsey, Eastbourne, Poole and Southampton. Here at Bates we we do really hold the hand so we quite so we sell probably across out of four places about 200 boats a year but it's a very personal service so we, we do supply it the we hold your hand from start to finish there's nothing for you to think about as to really other than how much you want to spend so that that specs the boat it gets you the boat of your dreams in the context that you want to use it if that's towed or moored or dry berth whatever it is and then finally, we do a handover in the exact context you're going to use it. So if, for example, you were buying a big one, that would be, as MD, I, I do my own handovers. Any boat I sell, I hand over to the customer, which is a minimum of a one full day, upwards of three on a big, you know, 30, 40 footer. If they've not had a boat before, I'll spend up to three days with that customer. So, so, so people would probably find that surprising after like a car purchase where you get about 10 minutes, here's the key and off you go. It's nothing like that, certainly for, for our company here. Um, and we will, if we don't do it, says then we'll also, if you're brand new, we'll do the, all the for early stages. So you're teaching it, um, you'll, you'll learn all of the functions, everything, and driving. And then we put you with it on an up to a three day course, normally included in the sale with a, with a proper instructor. So you end up with an ICC. You, is, that's not um, mandatory for the UK, it is abroad, but we still do it anyway. Insurance companies like it. We're on the inland waterways, and that is another set of rules, a little bit like an MOT. So we have to, to deal with, which is not a problem for us because we do it all the time. So there's the RCD. So when a boat's brand new, it's deemed to comply for four years. And then after that, we have to do an inland waterway certificate. So that right now, that, that doesn't happen, ironically, doesn't have to happen on for anything used on the sea. But if you're on an inland waterways where you need a river license, you will have to supply what's, think of it like an MOT for a car, except that it lasts four years. Anything I sell, you have a full title history, not just, I think the finance companies like five or eight years. I, I do it from day dot. Right, now you have to prove that the boat was VAT paid, um, especially if you go abroad, because you could find yourself, you know, the, the VAT man will be saying, right, pay up, well, even where the VAT's been paid. So any, any boat we supply, you will have full title history from its, comes like a bit like a birth certificate, as a builder certificate, a VAT invoice, and then a chain of title. Who's owned that boat when, when it changed hands? The only time the money is mentioned is, as you say, on the VAT certificate, whenever that was paid. An invaluable service, to be quite frank, as long as you have a good one. Um, we tend to advocate two surveyors. So we, we will typically, on a big boat, we will typically get a, a structural surveyor, which a lot of people just stay with that and then they give them an opinion on the engineering. We, we tend to go one step further and say, well, okay, if it's a Macruiser engine, let's use our Macruiser guys, because they'll just know, they'll just have all oh, the old vibe, you've got to look around at the manifolds or whatever the little idiosyncrasies are on any engine, like Caterpillar, Man, there's all different manufacturers. So you're, in our opinion, we get an engine report from the specific engine manufacturer you're choosing, which is pretty logical. 